So now to completely remove the motor and the wire leading up to the motor controller, there's a few more bolts. We need to remove all of them using the three millimeter Allen key wrench. Now these bolts can be a little bit tricky. So sometimes you might want to give it a little tap with a hammer to loosen them before you go to remove them with the drill. So once you have all of them loosened by hand, it's a little bit faster to come in with a drill with the same bit and go ahead and remove all 10 of those bolts. So once you have all the screws removed, what you're going to do is slide the stem towards your left and that's going to expose uh, the wiring and the controller as well. Once you have that loosened up, just come gently slide this out and here you'll see all of the wires leading from the motor up to the motor controller. So if you're just checking to see if anything's loose, you don't need to remove anything. You're just gonna wanna check each connection to make sure that it's secure. But if you are removing to either replace the controller or the motor, from here, you'll be able to pull the whole controller out. And then one by one, you can clip each terminal for the new motor. Remove these plastic clips and you can disconnect one by one. Be careful to pull by the plastic, not the wires. You don't want to damage any of the connections. This is the wire for the brake light, wire for the controller, and wire for the power supply to the motor. Now to remove this one, you actually gotta go remove this black protective tape. Once you peel this off, you can disconnect the motor And that's that. So if you ever did need to replace the controller, you can remove this piece entirely. But if the controller is still intact, you can keep this and just replace the motor.